Despite snowy winter, Swiss glaciers are on track to disappear. A snowy winter provided no respite for Switzerland's glaciers, which shed 2.4 percent of their volume in a year, with Saharan sand accelerating the summer melt. More in our next report. We leave you with this report. Do stay tuned. News and updates will follow on the other side. You're watching Beyond. What is one? And this is Beyond's Climate Tracker. Swiss glaciers melted at an above average rate this year, a monitoring body has said. Also trickling away, hopes that years of hefty declines had come to an end. Since three weeks, we lost this um, amount of ice. Earlier this year, glaciologists celebrated the above average winter and spring snow dumps in the Alps. But in August, average temperatures were a few degrees above freezing. Scientists measured record ice losses across the country that month. In total, Swiss glaciers lost 2.5% of their volume this year. And that's despite what the director of monitoring body Glamos, Matthias Huss, described as a, quote, perfect year for glaciers. So three weeks ago, the surface of the ice was up here. Now it is down here. If we um, look at this at the annual time scale, um, last October, the surface was a bit higher than the end of the stake. So this is the melting we have experienced in the year, in the summer of 2024 so far, which is quite a lot. One of the factors that accelerated the losses this year was dust from the Sahara, has said. This gives ice sheets a brown or rosy hue, which inhibits their ability to reflect sunlight back into the atmosphere. If the trend continues that we have seen in this year, uh, this will be a disaster for Swiss glaciers. They will completely or almost completely disappear by the end of the century. So it is needed that the temperatures don't warm so quickly as they have in the last years or decades and that they st stabilize. And more than half of the glaciers in the Alps are in Switzerland, where temperatures are rising by around twice the global average due to climate change. If greenhouse gas emissions continue to rise, the Alps glaciers are expected to lose more than 80% of their current mass by 2100.